all for this too. Okay, you're finishing out the interviews. I'm so sure you're thinking about what they want to be when they grow up. You're thinking about, especially a school like yours, that sends kids to every place on the planet. And so we wanted to say, what are the cool things that are happening? You're going to find out what they're doing at CERN. You're going to see what the latest simulations are for the birth of galaxies. And we're going to end the program with Dark Universe. And you'll find out about the 95% of the universe we don't know about yet. We just know it exists, and we know that you're the one who will have to figure it out. This makes it awesome. Yes, awesome. Okay, now, I don't know if Mario, if Mar look over there and see if Mario is there. No. Uh, 2K by 4K projection. We are creating 80 million pixels, 60 times a second. And we are edge blending away part of them to only 50 million, 980. This makes us, can you go back and show my picture again? Let's get rid of the lower the lights and do the blue chalk thing. Why? And not quiet. Alright, we wanted to reach the limit of the human eye. Because if we get sharper than the human eye, no one's gonna see it. So you all can think about that and maybe do an activity on it, but we're close. With the number of pixels we have now, if you go up and you stare at it, you can't, you can, you might see a pixel now and you write your projector is gray. We're not gray, we're black. But to do that, we had to have a projector that would do 20,000 to one contrast ratio. So adding more to the colors, show the color pretty. To get colors like this, we need a laser system. So we have laser, uh, a laser generated color. A 1 to 20 million pixels, 1 to 20,000 contact ratio, and 50,000 to establish This is a good start anywhere else. I want to do one bit of shameless party, and that is for our observatory. To do that, I've got to show you we don't just do crazy stuff. We, well, maybe we can. Hold on, it's working on it. is you actually get to travel through space and travel through time. So this is how we travel through time. We can actually look all the way back to 13, any time, any point back in our own time, not finding an object that's much younger, or that would be what? A supernova. There's a pulsar in the middle of it, and if you look at an infrared light, you get a different color because you're not so in astronomy, we take every bit of light we can, because that's all we got. We can't go and take a sample of the crab nebula. So we look at it every week. And we need to find out what it's made of. I mean, if the asteroid is, is rocky and hard, in hard, it should be easy to land on. But what if it's a jump pipe? Dr. Carolyn Sumners, C-A-R-O-L-Y-N-S-U-M-N-E-R-S. I'm the Vice President for Astronomy and Physics at the Houston Museum of Natural Science. Oh, it's wonderful. After all these years, we have the best planetarium in the world. And we can prove it. We can count our pixels. What's so new and exciting about it? We have 10 projectors, each of which is equivalent to a high-end theater. Each, one's a four, each is a 4K projector. We have 10 of them. We create 80 million pixels. And we have to edge blend, and we get down to 50 million. But that's a lot of pixels regenerated. 30 times a second or 60 times a second. Well, I guess there's still not even enough pixels for all the stars out there. Oh, we can zoom in. <laughs> oh, it is, it is about the resolution of the human eye. You don't, if you walk up and even if you're close to the screen, you don't see uh, pixels. You see, you see images. So the image feels real. The image has the color palette of a laser because these are laser projectors. And it's very rich, very dramatic. And that's what we were looking for. And we wanted people to feel like, I mean, we can immerse them. If you look at our new theater, you're, the, the screen is not away from you. you. You walk past it. So when you sit down, it's at eye level. So this is... 
they're actually going to be there. I mean, they're, they, we t at the very beginning, we had a little trouble settling them down for the fourth graders. By the time we showed the first video, they, we owned them. And I think that's what's exciting about this, is that we actually will own the attention of these kids. We can present them things, take them places they've never been before. And it's much more real to say, if you're, if you're bungee jumping on an asteroid, you're really going to go high. Show them. Don't just. Everyone from Houston will come because we're Space City and this is a space experience. We are going with dark, with dark Universe, which is everything we don't know. Marvelous program with Neil deGrasse Tyson. Also, we're doing Dramatic Earth to see how the Earth is part of the solar system, part of the planets, and why the Earth is so dramatic. And we do Pink Floyd at the end of the day.